What's going on guys, you're watching GT Sam, I'm Sam, and today it's cold. It's 46 degrees out here, about a high, and then it's a nice fall day, and the low is about 40. Doesn't matter. I'm outside here again, working on my Honda Civic EX from 2007. What are we doing today? Good question. So what we're doing today is we're installing a new mod on this car. Now, you might be thinking like, okay, you said this car was perfect before, you didn't need anything. You're right, it doesn't need anything. But that doesn't mean I don't want to do anything for it. So, and I want to, I'm kind of tired of just like, you know, putzing around with this thing and being all eco friendly and, and fine and whatever, not really having any sound or power or anything out of it, really, you know? So, I'm going to go ahead and we got a new mod installed in here. It's a little controversial because it could make your car sound like a fart cannon or it kind of could help a little bit. You're going to find a whole lot of YouTube videos on just, to, just installing this one part for the exhaust system. So, we're kind of shooting in the dark here a little bit and gonna give it give it a whirl. And let me show you what the part is. I'm excited about it. It's an eBay special of $64. And I got a great deal on it. And if it's gonna hold up, I don't know. I'm about to find out here. But let's go see. Here it is. A new downpipe for my exhaust manifold. Look at this. It's super nice. Nice and shiny chrome. We got these Ones with OT sensors, so unscrew real quick. Boom, we'll just pack them up, I guess, if we really want to, but I'm gonna put those on there for now. Then we got the EGR valve. Got, uh, we got some accessories, not a lot, so I'm gonna try to reuse the bolts from before, but uh, it's pretty shiny. The welds are not that nice and smooth, not all, not all janky, nothing too suspicious here. So nice and smooth. Uh, I actually was kind of impressed. The pictures actually worked wor worse on eBay. And then see, you got the, the EGR valve here and that whole thing. But I like how they got the braces around here. I know it looks like, oh, it looks tacky. Well, no, not really. It's actually pretty smart. It's a, you know, extra brace for this whole thing. And so, yeah, I think this might just work. Yeah, not bad. It's not too bad. It's definitely going to be kind of fun. So I came over here for a couple of days and I went ahead and soaked um, everything that I could that possibly that needs to be taken off here. And so we're gonna go ahead and you know take this off, all these bolts around. WD-40's been soaking for days on these puppies. And I drove it once and you know got it all heated up and uh, for long distance drive and hopefully that kind of soaked in there too. But we have a lot of bolts to work with. Hopefully there's nothing too crazy stuck. I get these O2 sensors out and we can kind of move on quickly with this. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that in about an hour, we can get this done. We work at it really fast, really hard. Let's get it done. Ambitious, absolutely. But, I'm gonna try. You know, these Civics look deceptively easy to work on, so that's why I'm a little skeptical. So it's probably gonna take, honestly, like four hours. Eh, this gonna be fun. Anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this thing in there now. All right, guys, going for a little tour here, show you what to get take out. So we've got O2 sensor here, bolt there, bolt there. I'm gonna take the uh, EGR pipe off as well. Pipe in front, I mean bolt in front. We got one down below, over in the corner. So right there, down there. Uh, O2 sensor down there. Yeah, you look okay, right? Sure. We got some of that. That's what we're gonna take out. That's what I'm gonna do. Might as well go with the fun part first. You got the O2 sensor there. This is kind of a removal tool. Hopefully it's got enough power behind it to get all that torque. But you know, I've had some ones that were like really bad spots. And uh hopefully this isn't a terrible spot. So I get this off. So I'll try this first. It does. Yeah, this thing's too fat. That's lame. We'll go with the easy stuff first. We'll worry about this later. Maybe we get an adapter or something. But hey, look at this. That bolt's loose. Nice, nice. So is this one. <laughs> I'll take that. Success. Update. Still can't get that out. We need a tool later. I think we can work around them and we'll get them out later. But, the pipe. got this pipe out. Yeah, pretty dirty, but no matter, we're doing good. 
So we keep moving on. Up to the side. And then so now we have a little more room here to get everything else we need to get to. There's some bolts, big bolts, 12, they're not big, they're, they're really rusty, but right behind this shield here. So we're gonna give it the old heave ho. Oh, all right, we got it. Do it again. Well, I got the bolts out here and behind this shield, and then there's two more right here where I can't even get to without removing this. I don't know what I was thinking, but a little stinker. So I'm gonna go run to the auto parts store and grab a tool to get get that out of here. Two hours later. Hello, everyone. Uh, let me show you what we got. So, I went ahead and got these bolts out the springs. You can tell they're corroded and rusty. To clean those up a lot. And then I got this behemoth out. This is a this is a big one. It's a 14. It's on the exhaust bracket. We're holding the exhaust in. Then we have the other one to go get. And it's this one right here. This is not going to be fun. I already tried to get it off, and it's already stripping a little bit. So we have to be very strategic with this one. So I'm going to try some vice grips first, and then go for it. So we'll give that a try first. See what happens. Otherwise, we're getting there. Whew! Got that bolt out. You don't know how bad it was. It's kind of stuck. So here we go. Ah, there it is. That's the best man. So here we go. We have the bolt. It's pretty gnarly. It was getting close to just being stripped, so I was very afraid. But we got the 14 on there, hammered it on. But it looks like it got heated up really a lot, too. And here's the um, exhaust bracket. You might be wondering why I'm holding it in my hand. Well, it's a good question. Me, too. It broke. Look at this. And this was not me at all. This just, this just kind of snapped off over time. That's very interesting, very surprising. So I'm not even going to bother putting that back on. And actually, I probably don't even need to take that bolt out realistically. But it's out now. Got the junk out of the way. Good, now all we need is the catalytic converter, I mean not that catalytic converter, the uh, O2 sensor removal tool, and then we should be on our way quickly. All right, good evening, I'm back. And so, just made some dinner, didn't get the idiot, because I want to finish this project now. So, what we needed is we needed, uh, you know, the socket for the O2 sensors. And yeah, so I went out to the auto the store, about this baby. So this looks pretty heavy duty, I think we should be able to do this, be able to crack this code. And so now, the car's just sitting over there with my lantern light. And now we're gonna do it. So the temperature's dropping, getting cold, a little rainy, and uh, let's finish this thing. I'm ready. Okay, make sure this thing fits, actually. Yeah, sure. Let's try it. Both two sensors are a pain. They usually don't come out too easily. But we're gonna give it a try. Come on, let's do this. We're so close. We're so close to finishing this. Make sure I'm trying the right way. Yeah. What? Yo, bro. I could have done it with my fingers. You gotta be kidding me. Is this one I ever took out? Man, what the heck? Oh, man, that WD 40 must have really helped out. That was stupid. <laughs> this is not bad, uh, but it's uh, simply a little worn. So, alright, well. Now there's the next one down below. Or actually, I don't even need to do that. Let's just take the stupid cover off. And move, keep moving on. This is it, guys. Let's see what we did. All the bolts are out, and let's find out. And, oh, mama, whoa. Nice. Ah, who needs this thing on here, man? This thing's fat. All right, let me put this aside. Actually, don't need that. We've got a better one, I think, going on. Oh, yeah. Sparkle, sparkle. Oh, look at this. Man, this is going to be sick going in there. Let's kind of fit it up for now. Wow. <laughs> this is so funny. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. Maybe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So we're transferring things over for like the O2 sensors and start getting everything all buttoned up here and bolted in place. Let's move on. All right, guys. So we got the we got the pipes right here, and I got the bolts for the O2 sensors. So we gotta make sure those two sensors go in the right spot. So this one definitely um, 
well, the side one. I gotta remember that because I came. That's what it came from on the other one. So I want to make sure that definitely fits in there. We don't want to screw this up. Don't want to be all confused. So I'll make sure they're all in the right spot here. So this is the downstream. This is the upstream. Could be wrong, but I think that's what it is. So, anyways, let's keep going here. Putting things up. We got some other parts here too. Nicely. Yep, so we've got this. Like that. Make sure. Yep. But there for now, we've got this nice metal bracket here. Let's check this out. It's pretty awesome. So, this is all metal. Oh, yeah, that's great. Give me a little update here. So, what we have here is this is kind of the mock setup right now. So, this is what we have. Um, EGR is back. We got the piping for the EGR as well. We got actually got everything to line up pretty darn good so far. So I was a little worried about the EGR uh, little port here because it's yeah, it seemed a little off. But now we got everything kind of in place here. Uh, it's working very well. So we got the bolts bolted up down there and the, the gasket in there too. And we got to do some more, a little more things here. Got to put this all together and. We're gonna go for a start. It, I don't know what it, it's gonna do. The computer's probably gonna freak out with everything, but I'm excited about this. Whew, it's about 9 p.m. I know we can barely see anything, but here we go. There she is. All right, got everything hooked back up together here. We have O2 sensors, top to bottom. Got all the bolts in, tightened. Everything is lining up well, great. It took a little finagling, but everything lines up great. Everything's back in place with all the bolts and everything like that. Sensors, things like that. Take a look underneath. There you go. See right here. Got these bolted all down. Got the gasket in there. And then we have the other bolt right here. I had to reuse some of the all the most of the old bolts because I bought new bolts. I promise you, I bought new bolts. They don't work. They do not fit. I brought one with me to size it up at the store. Nah. No good. Didn't work at all. So, I think we use most of the old stuff. Um, except the really bad one. I'll just, I'm not using that one at all. So, here we go. Anyways. I know you can't see anything, but here we go. It's time. Oh man, it's time to start. Is it gonna sound great, sound terrible, or blow up on my face? Here we go. Okay, okay. Better, better. I hear a little difference. Did you, did you hear that? Let's go around back here. Okay. She's just kind of figuring out what to do. So that's good. Okay. It's got a little. It's got a little zing. All right. What we got? Oh man. <laughs> Look at this. Ooh, cool. All right. A little warm up here, and then we're gonna give it a, uh, a little test on the throttle, and then we'll go for a test drive. I'm gonna just clean up here while it's warming up here, and getting this computer all figured out. Let's go ahead. See how she sounds. I'm gonna get the windows open. That sounds back. All right, everybody. You just witnessed the installation of this new straight pipe for my Honda Civic. So what do you guys think? I think it was interesting. I did not expect those results as we we're kind of going through everything. Like I said, 
It looked like it was going to be like a half hour job or so, but then it turned out to be hours later. I didn't expect all that, but I'm very fortunate that all the bolts came out no problems at all. So I did the WD-40 and a liquid wrench beforehand really helped out. So keep that in mind if you're going to do this yourself. Okay, now it's been, you're probably wondering, what is, how is it doing now? Has anything changed? Gas mileage, performance? Let's go over that. Okay, so right now it's been a few months. Things have been a little busy, but it's been a few months of actually testing and using the car. I still like it. I'm dailying it to work. I drive a ton and it sounds, it sounds good. There's nothing crazy going on with it and it performs well. I think there's a little bit enhancement with taking some of the piping out for the air intake, but then also with the um, filter I put in the stock box, we have that uh, for help with the air restriction. And then we have this straight pipe in the front as well. So I think these things combined have actually given it a slight performance boost. I can't know for certain, but I think it does help out just a little bit. Nothing astronomical, of course, but hey, that's fine by me. Um, other than that, how, gas mileage. I honestly cannot say this gets better gas mileage. It might be the same or unfortunately slightly less. The best gas mileage I've ever got with my Honda Civic is 43 MPG driving from Pittsburgh to back at home. And it's about a four and a half hour drive and 43 MPG is amazing. And everything was stock then, but now I have two things that are really, um, you know, modified and change things a little bit. And with that, uh, you know, we sacrifice a little bit of gas mileage, I think for then a little more performance. So I think that's really where we're at. And I don't have any scientific evidence, but that's what it looks like to me from all the monitoring I've done for the gas mileage on many, many trips I've done from Pittsburgh to back home. Otherwise, I think the pipe actually performs pretty well. It looks good. It sounds okay. And there's, there's nothing crazy of an exhaust system. And it was cheap. I, again, couldn't resist it from eBay. I think the price for what I got in the quality was excellent. And if you guys ever find a deal like that, I'd say go ahead and do it to your Civic as well. So guys, what'd you think of this video? Did you like it? And what other kind of exhaust mods have you done to your Honda Civic as well to complement this downpipe also, but not making it too obnoxiously loud? Leave a comment down below. Love to hear your feedback on what you've done to your Civic also. Leave a link to your video also maybe. But love to discuss more things about this, about my bill. If you have any questions about it, then go ahead, leave the comments down below. Love to read them, love to respond, have a conversation as well. You guys, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button and make sure you subscribe for more videos that are coming your way. I have a lot coming up and there is something that I don't think you guys have even expecting that's gonna come out. It's gonna be like a five part mini series. It sounds like some kind of TV show, but trust me, it's, it's really, really big. And hopefully you guys will be interested in this. It's going to be one of those things you sit down and you're almost watching a movie at this point. And then you're going to grab your snacks and just enjoy and have a good time watching these next like five part segments of what I went through for something I bought and never released anything about it. Except maybe one or two posts and you might know what I'm talking about. You might not. If you think I know what I'm talking about? Well, again, leave a comment down below and I will comment on it and not tell you if you're right or wrong. But anyways, thank you guys for watching so much. This is GT Sam, and I'll catch you next time. Try this again with those battery dying. I take four, three. Ugh. Let's roll it again.